Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing LCM and HCF problems. Uh, in the last session, we have discussed uh, LCM and HCF few problems. Uh, especially, we discussed about uh, LCM third model based on number of digits problems. Uh, now, we will continue the session. See the first question in this session. Find the smallest four digit number find the smallest or least whatever it is uh, smallest is indicating that that is lcm and uh, we are talking about uh, the problem is based on uh, number of digits uh, so it is uh, third model lcm lcm third model which is based on number of digits uh, based on number of digits uh, find the smallest four digit number which when divided by here the numbers are given as 12 18 21 and 28 leaves the remainder 3 in each case here guys if you observe carefully find the smallest four digit number as we are talking about uh, based on number of digits uh, and also one more information is there that is in each and every case uh, the remainder is uh, same in each and every case the remainder is uh, same it means it is a combination of uh, third model along with the first model third model along with the first model whenever the problem is asking a third and one first combination then what is our required required number required least number is equal to <coughs> here first we need to write third model that is least n digit number least n digit number plus LCM minus remainder up to here this is third model and uh, after that if it is a combination of 3 and 1 whenever did, uh, that particular problem is uh, belongs to third and one combination in that case whatever the remainder which is given in the problem let us consider that remainder as R1 you need to add that remainder also R1 and uh, this remainder is different and this remainder is different uh, here R1 is the remainder which is given in the problem where R is the remainder obtained by dividing least n digit number with uh, LCM that is the difference between these two remainders uh, now here the least n digit number as we are talking about least four digit number so least four digit number is 1000 plus after that we need to calculate the LCM here the numbers are 12 18 21 28 calculate the LCM of uh, these four numbers I will take with uh, 3 3 4 sir 3 6 sir 3 7 sir and it is not divisible by 3 after that uh, you can go with 2 2 2 sir, 2 3 sir, 7, 2 14 Next again you can go with 2, 2 1 sir, 3, 7 and uh, 2 7 sir. And uh, now you can go with 7, 1, 3, 1, 1 time. Now the LCM of all these numbers, uh, all these 4 numbers, LCM is equal to how many 3's are there? 1. 2 3's. Uh, how many 2's? 2 2's. Uh, 2 square into 3 square into 7. This is the required LCM. 2 square is 4 and uh, 3 square is 9. 4 into 9 36. 36 into 7. We need to calculate this value. Here it is uh, 30 into 7 which is equal to 210. 210 plus 42 that is uh, 240, uh, 252. LCM of all these numbers is uh, 252 and uh, substitute that LCM over here 252. Now you can divide uh, this least four digit number with uh, LCM. What is LCM? 252. Here it is uh, three times 756. 756. And uh, if you take four times, it will cross as uh, 1000. So it is only 3 times. 252 3 is 756. Now you can subtract these two. What you will get is 
here it is units place is 4 and 1000 minus 256 which is equal to here it is uh, 244. The remainder which we are obtaining is uh, 244. That remainder should be subtracted from this uh, LCM minus 244 plus whatever the additional remainder which is given in the problem that you need to add up plus 3. Here, if you take the difference between these two, 252 minus uh, 244, which is equal to 8, which is equal to 8. 8 plus 3, 11. 1000 plus 11, which is equal to 1011. Here, our required answer for this question is 1011. Here, the meaning of, the exact meaning of this particular question is, uh, 1011 is the smallest four digit number which when divided by 12, 18, 21, 28 uh, leaves the same remainder 3 in each case. Uh, that is the meaning of this particular question. I hope you understand. Let's move on to the next question. See here. The LCM of two numbers is uh, 495. The LCM of two numbers is 495 and their HCF is given as 5 and their HCF is given as 5. If the sum of the numbers is 100, then find their difference. If the sum of the numbers is 100, then find their difference. Guys, in LCM and HCF topic, whenever HCF of any two numbers are mentioned, then we have to consider those two numbers must be a multiples of HCF. Here, if HCF is 5, so definitely those numbers are multiples of HCF. Why? Because uh, if those numbers are not multiples of HCF, it is not possible to get the HCF as uh, 5. That is the reason why whenever two numbers uh, HCF is given, you need to take the uh, multiples of HCF only, those numbers. Let us take two numbers 5x and 5y. According to the given conditions and information, LCM of two numbers is 495. This is first number and this is second number. LCM of these two, 5x and 5y, LCM is LCM of 5x and 5y, which is equal to 5xy, right? That value is given as 495. 5xy is equal to 495. Now you can cancel with 5 table. 5 9 sir, 45. Again 4 is there. 45 means 5 9 sir, 45. x into y is equal to 99. x into y is equal to 99. One more information is also given. That is sum of two numbers is 100. Here the two numbers are 5x and 5y. Sum of these two is equal to 100. Sum of these two is equal to 100. Now you can common a 5. 5 into x plus y which is equal to 100. 5 ones are 5 20 sir. x plus y is equal to 20. Here we got xy is equal to 99. x plus y is equal to 20. x plus y is equal to 20. Now, what are the possible values of x and y which satisfies both the conditions? It means product of x and y is 99, sum of x and y is 20. It is very clear that among these two, 1 is 9, 1 is 11. Why? Because here the product of 9 and 11 is 99 and the sum of 9 and 11 is 20, then only it is satisfying the given condition. We don't have other possibilities. So, x and y values are 9 and 11 or vice versa you can take. It doesn't matter, right? Here, one value is 9, one value is 11. Therefore, one number becomes, let us take x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 11. Then first number becomes, here, first number is 5x, 5 into 9, 45. Second number is 5y. 5 into 11, 55. Here, first number is 45. Second number is 55. Now, the question what he is asking, 
what is the difference between the two numbers here the difference between two numbers 55 minus 45 which is equal to 10 difference between those two numbers is 10 that is the required answer for this question guys i hope you enjoy the session thank you thank you very much for watching